And another question you'd ask is, what's the difference with concrete and wood? Other than the obvious, right? One's gonna taste like wood. One's gonna just lend itself to that purity of, of how will you farm that year and how you ferment it, how you extract it. But don't fool yourself. Concrete is porous, it absorbs, it breathes. Um, not to the rate of wood, but it definitely does. You get to the point in these things where they are so saturated with wine. So a lot of people, whereas stainless steel does not, you're locked in, it is what it is. And that's why very few of us would ever consider aging reds in stainless steel, right? Because they don't get that oxygen transfer that we really need for the wine to slowly start to mature so that when you get it, it's not, it doesn't taste like day one after fermentation. It has had that oxygen interaction and it has started to slowly age the wine. And that's really what a cork does the same thing, right? You put a cork in a bottle and the beauty of a cork, it's that slow oxygen evolution of that wine uh, and that's why the wine ages. The more oddly enough, this is gonna be a little too fucking geeky for most of you, the reason uh, uh, I add so much oxygen early is to build up the strength of the wine so that it can accept oxygen late, whether it's in barrel or in your bottle. It's called building up your oxidative or reductive strength. It's the number one key to aging, not tannins. Oxidative strength is the number one key to a wine being able to age. Anybody tells you tannins, tell them to call me. Put them back to school again. Uh, that's it. <laughs>